Hey guys, how are you today? We are back with another uh, project. Spread, prompt, journal page. <laughs> For my creative year, 2018, the month of April. This first, this month, our topic is journaling and the prompt is emotion. I had to go check. Yes, the topic is um, journaling for the whole month of April. And today we're going to talk about emotion and expressing emotions in your art journal pages. We'll talk about what exactly this is in just a second. This particular little journal is a good one for this prompt because this, this is a uh, moleskin weekly notebook for 2017. So it's an expired weekly notebook. I like that it has, you know, calendars and dates and things in the background. I like working on top of that and using it to add to my journal pages. This whole notebook is about expressing different emotions and creating different compositions with movement in them. just looking at the pages, uh, with movement in them to create and e evoke a certain feeling, a certain emotion. Um, so here's a quick th flip through. Some of these are from submissions to magazines, some of which are otherwise unpublished on YouTube. And you can see that these all have a really strong presence and statement. And looking at them definitely evokes emotion to the viewer. I have to wax some of them because they're a little bit sticky. I love this one. So we're going to create another page with the same theme. These are from my Journaling with Movement series here on YouTube. And we're going to create, this is one of my favorite ones, we're going to create another one. So we're going to go to the next page. And I have these spring clips from Hobby Lobby, which I talked about in my review this month for my creative year. And these are really great for holding your page open um, when it gets to be thick like this. The Wonder Clips work also. So this is a smaller clip though, but it also works. And they're, they're, they both have the same benefit. They're small, unobtrusive. So it's easy to journal around them without having to worry about moving the clip. This book is getting a little fat and chunky, so. That's okay. We're going to use a spring clip. So then I went and I found these pieces are from a, this is from a Kleenex box. And I'm going to cut this design out. I have some, these are from Flavored Water. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I think I'm going to. I have this quote that was sent to me by my friend Cindy Utter. I do think this is some kind of paper where you can like spray ink on it or something. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I kind of like it just being black and white. And together, these all do evoke an emotion for me. I usually, when I'm working on journal pages, am looking to express an emotion, a feeling, uh, a movement, um, some kind of expression. I don't just slap stuff on to slap stuff on generally. That being said, I also don't generally have too big of a plan. I want it to be a very fluid, organic process. It has to be for me to be successful. That's how I work. So we are going to do this. I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, I love this page. Whether you're doing it in a traveler's notebook or you're journaling your year in a planner or some other kind of journal, or maybe you're just doing an art journal for the year like this one, I love this. Express your emotions in your work. I wasn't sure this was going to work. So this was one of those kind of designs where it's intended to have alcohol ink sprayed on it and part of it will stand in relief while the rest of the paper absorbs the ink. Um, I believe that's what that was anyway. Um, I really wanted it to be more transparent and not have that white piece of paper on there so I covered it in packing tape. I rubbed it in really well with a gift card scraper thing that I have from... Actually, this one's from Art C. This is a scraper thing. Then I got it wet and rubbed the paper off. And I love... And that was just plain old packing tape, people. Scotch brand packing tape. Um, worked great. Um, and I love the sentiment, my kind of wonderful. And what that... said to me was finding joy in yourself. I don't know why that's what that said to me, but that is what it said to me. And I wrote, always be your own kind of wonderful, express yourself with joy and abandon, bask in the joy of your own sunshine. Don't wait for joy from someone else's sun. And I think it's a combination of the words and the, these images from the tissue box. So express yourself and your emotions in your work. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You don't have to be crazy and show it on YouTube like I do. You can keep it to yourself and that's fine. If you want to do this and you want to share it, but you want to share it in a semi-safe place, the Facebook group, semi I should say semi-private and safe place, um, you can join my creative year. The, the uh, link is in the video description. Uh, again, the topic for this month is journaling and the prompt for this week is emotion. So I would love to see you all bring some emotion into your work this week. I'd love to see how you do it. There's a lot of different ways to do it. This is just one. And above all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you would. And don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.